In today's post, I will be testing out the performance of several different heat sinks, specifically heat sinks that are designed for this TO220 package. Now, I'm not going to show all of the tests in this video, but let me quickly review the heat sinks I will be testing. First off, we have the ever popular snap on variety. It's obviously very easy to use and quite cheap. Next up, a pair of bolt on heat sinks. The one already in the circuit here is um, maybe half an inch taller than this one. So, see how those two do. Next up, a slightly larger heat sink. This one was originally used with a solid state relay, but I'm going to strap a transistor to it and see how well it cools. Finally, the old Pentium 4 CPU cooler. Now, this is a, a heat sink with a fan attached at the top, so we'll see if convection helps at all. And last but not least, I will be comparing the performance of these heat sinks with and without thermal pads in place. Now, these pads are basically there to conduct heat better between the transistor and heat sink. They serve the same function as a thermal grease or thermal paste. So, and we'll see just how well they actually perform. All right, so in order to evaluate the performance of these different heat sinks, I've come up with a very simple current control circuit. The input voltage to this circuit is a constant 12 volts, so if we control the current, we can proportionately control the power dissipated in the transistor. Now the transistor's drain is connected directly to that 12 volt source, and its source, transistor source, is wired through a sense resistor back to ground. Now you can think of the transistor, the MOSFET, as an electrically controllable variable resistance, right? So as we vary the voltage between the gate and the source, we can adjust the resistance of the transistor between drain and source. The gate voltage then is controlled by this op amp. The op amp measures the voltage across the sense resistor and attempts to make it equal to an input voltage. So if we input, uh, say, 0.1 volts to the op amp, the op amp will adjust the gate voltage until the voltage across the sense resistor is 0.1 volts. And given that this is a 0.1 ohm sense resistor, if we have 0.1 volts across it, then we have a current of 1 amp by Ohm's law. Now the input to the op amp, the controlling voltage, is actually coming from a DAC card, uh, the Mobile Studio I.O. board to be precise. Uh, but first it's passed through a 10 to 1 voltage divider. Uh, and I do that simply to, to uh, get an equivalent current uh, to our voltage input, right? So if we input one volt, we get one amp through the transistor. If I input half a volt, we get half an amp, right? The uh, other components you see on the board here are a set of electrolytic and ceramic capacitors. And those don't serve a, a real purpose other than to reduce noise in the circuit. All right, so I have adjusted the circuit now so that when I turn on the power supply, the current through the transistor will be 0.5 amps. Now with a 12 volt supply, that means we'll be dissipating about six watts in that transistor. In order to uh, monitor it as it heats up, I have this nifty uh, infrared thermometer by Kentrex. It's the model IRT0421, in case you're interested. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of hold it here. It's got a little laser sight there. So I'm just gonna keep it focused on the transistor and I'm going to flip on the power supply. All right. All right, it's starting to heat up. We're at uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit now, and uh, I don't imagine you want to sit here and watch this. I'm going to set a timer for uh, 10 minutes, and I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and see how we're doing. So it's now been uh, 10 minutes. So let's uh, let's get the probe in there. See what we got. Okay. Well, we're reading about uh, got a max of 167.6 Fahrenheit there. It's gonna kind of move it around. Make sure we get a uh, oh, oh we got 173 peak right there. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I say it's pretty pretty. 
pretty consistent right now. I think we've hit steady state uh, 173 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad. All right, six watts. There you go.